help you, sir? Oh. Oh, the stereotypes are just leaking through the screen. The tailor, an aristocratic looking man, uh, attends solicitously to Graham as he looks at all the wares in the tailor shop. Solicitously? Say that word again. The Say tailor, it. an aristocratic looking man, attends solicitously, solicitously. to Graham as he looks at all so, the wares in I the tailor shop. Alright, I, I wasn't aware you could do anything solicitously. Oh, look, he follows you around. I don't like this at all. Come to me. Come to me, my little tailor friend. All right, what's up? I'm interested in buying something here. Ah, let me show you some things. Let me show you some things, sir. Fabulous. A fine piece of cloth. With this material, I can make you beautiful shirts. There isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. With this, I could make you the finest trousers you've ever had. Oh. Well, this is making what do me you very think? uncomfortable. Well, right now I'm just looking. Thanks anyway. Thanks for wasting my here, time, here. sir. Whatever you say, I'm just here to help. Okay. Now it's pretty obvious from looking in this room because everything's just kind of painted on that this little cloak thing over here is going to come in. In handy. the corner of the shop, draped casually over a tailor's form, Graham sees a thick fur-lined cloak. You expect me to wear this? What the fuck At is the up with back this of the guy? shop, Graham notices a dressing room in which a rude, finicky customer tries on many items of fine clothing. Uh, can I fuck with him? The rude customer doesn't care to talk to Graham. Oh, so I can talk to the fucking guy outside fixing his wagon, but I can't talk to the rude customer? He seemed like he might be much more interested to talk to. Alright, so, um, can I go in here? Yes, I can. Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. I've just stumbled into Santa Claus's workshop, apparently, and he has... The oh. shipment of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? Oh. If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa? I'll send you to the sawmill. Apparently Santa is Dutch. I did not know this. Or Swedish, rather. Papa? Uh, yeah, yeah my it. darling. Yeah? Can I keep this dog? I really like her. Now, Katrina, you, you know what's bad when the kid is the best voice Kinder? actor in the game thus far? Besides, you've got plenty of dolls. You can play with her, but just be careful. Can I not do all things right, while you fuckers are conversing? Thank you. Um, alright, so the sled is of interest. There's a fish. And what is he doing? Why is he finger, ba finger banging this doll? Finger bang! Look, he's seriously... Oh. Papa, God where did you put it. those new dog clothes Mama made? Shut up! I'm trying to get some shit done! I'm trying I'll to save my there. family! I'll do that. Thank you. Graham notices a strong little sled hanging on a side wall. A pet goldfish swims endlessly around in its fishbowl. I have a feeling that's going to be uh, kind of a statement that revolves around this entire game. All right, all right, Geppetto, what do you got? This is a fine little toy shop you have here. It's pity if anything were to happen to it. Donker, son, I've worked very hard at it over the yards. Yards? But you know, this guy's switched accents like four really times in the last it. minute. Once I do. Are most of these toys your creation? Nine. Yeah, most of them, but not all. I'm some my son made, some I into bought, an Irish accent at any some moment. I traded for him. You're very talented. Danka, Danka. Well, let me know if I can help you. Okay. The little girl is more interested in her doll. She pays no attention to Graham. <laughs> What's it worth being a king around here anyway? Nobody pays attention to me. Alrighty. Just go bother to be one this chat. But we don't have any shoes to sell you right now. Aww. We sold our last finished pair yesterday. Our business ain't doing so good anymore. And we're getting too Tell old. Tell me your troubles, lady. Crying. Is there anything I can do to help? Grant, don't there ain't involved. nothing you can do short of buying us out. So but like I said. If you want to I'm look confused. around, there seems to be a very free. wide range of accents in this one okay, little town. Thanks. 
I got people over here saying, ain't this and ain't that. So these guys are apparently American Southern. I just came from a, a German, Irish, Swedish, Dutch toy maker's shop. And then here's another Chimetta looking like motherfucker over here banging on... I thought they said they didn't have any shoes. He's making a shoe shoemaker as it is. wearily hammers tiny nails in a shoe sole. He doesn't even seem to notice Graham. Alright, well this town has absolutely nothing going for it. Alright, let's roll. Um, apparently we'll roll this way. I see a glint. Graham notices a shiny silver coin lying forgotten on the street near Money! the broken wagon. Like like Bending down, Graham quickly retrieves the silver coin from the street. See, well, he can read that line with enthusiasm. That must have been read one another day. All right, so what can I buy with money? I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna see if I can buy anything from the tailor here with this cash. May I help you, sir? Oh, welcome back, sir. We have missed you. I'll have you follow me around the shop for a little while. If you don't mind, make you work for this silver piece. Okay. Here you go, bitch. I would like to buy that fine cloak hanging in the corner. Will you take a silver coin for it? There's no way. A silver coin? You must be joking. Surely that you That beautiful jest. cloak is worth much more than that. All right. Well. Said I was going to regret it, and as a man of my word, I instantly regret it. All right, so let's get out of this town. Okay, um, we'll try going west. Okay, appears to be some sort of loggers. With house. a fine view of the rushing river, the bakehouse sits a bit out of house. town. Along an old rutted road. An old rutted road. And I will walk down that old rotted road. Oh, lots of stuff going on in here. All right, so we have a rather forlorn looking douchebag over here. What appears to be a bird frolicking happily. And then Cedric up there doing nothing useful as usual. Let's go bug this guy for a while. Can I hit him? Despite his own troubles, Graham feels sorry for the young man who obviously has troubles of his own. See, this game does not pick up on my intentions at all. Uh, excuse me, young man. Sorry to this bother nice how you, he but I couldn't help this but notice you sitting there on that lawn. King. I was wondering if there was anything wrong. Why, yes. As a matter of fact, there is. I've been searching everywhere for my fiancé. She's a beautiful princess with long golden tresses, fetching blue eyes, and smooth, creamy skin. Have you seen her anywhere Dude, you about? are getting really creepy on me. No, sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. That's what I figured. No one has seen her. I bet that a witch who lives in the dark you were giving forest me absolutely had something no to do with her disappearance. No reason for me to want to help I'll you I'll keep an all. eye out for her. If I see her, and I'll let her know you're like? looking for her. God damn, he looks familiar. I would appreciate that. Uh, well, it's gonna bug I guess I'd better night. get back to looking for her. I'm not ever going to find her just... Shut up. And away he goes into oblivion, never to be seen again. All right, bird! What a wonderful bluebird. It could almost make Graham happy again if it wasn't <laughs> for his family. Yeah, if it wasn't for that fucking family of mine, I could be happy. And the people wonder why I'm still single. <laughs> The swarthy hog. Hey, hey, ho! Oh. It's gonna cost you one gold coin to see Madamushka. Madamushka? The Mamushka! <laughs> hey! 